Hello lovelies, this is Cherie from Divine Visions. Welcome back and to everyone who is new here, welcome to you also. I'm glad that you could be with me today guys. Today is going to be my deck reveal. Um, so I'm so excited because this is something I've been wanting to do for a while but I've been creating decks and waiting for them to come back to me in the mail and um, I've pretty much got all of my decks here now. I've just got one more coming to me. Um, but I know a few of you have bought my decks and thank you so much guys. I really appreciate your support and um, that you're loving them. So first up I'm going to just start with the top row here. Um, I'll let you know what they're called first up. This is the Divine Oracle, the purple deck. And this is basically... Um, got 78 cards in there. We've got the Divine Love Oracle, um, which has got 54 cards. We've got the Divine Radiant Self Oracle, which is 100 cards. The Divine Shadow Self Oracle, which is 90 cards. We've got the Divine Tarot, which is 78 cards. We've got the Divine Yin Yang Oracle for Lovers, um, Messages of Shadow and Light. And this is my most sold deck. It's so popular, this one, um, because it's so unique, which you'll see in a moment. Um, now this one is the Divine Confessions of a Broken Heart Volume 1, so I'm yet to do a Volume 2 on that one. And I've got the Divine Mini um, Oracle here, so this is the same as this one, or well, similar, not the same, but this is the Divine Radiant Self Mini Oracle Affirmation Deck, and we've got the Divine Love Messages from your Twin Flame Soulmate, um, which is beautiful messages that a lot of people have been buying those as well. Um, they sell as well as the Divine Yin Yang Oracle. They're both high sellers. Um, and I'm going to be doing a volume two on these very soon. And I've got the Divine Affirmation for Kids as well. Some... Um, so the Divine Mini um, Radiant Self Oracle could be for little girls or little boys. Um, little kids, you know, might love them as well, which I'll get into. And I've created two Divine Liniment Oracle decks. Um, I wanted to get creative with kind of like formats and different um, illustrations, etc. And one's got like a, um, like the border here. We've got it, uh, the, the picture here and we've got like the um, number in this thing here and we've got the uh, messages below whereas this other one I did which is version one I've done the words around the picture so to speak so they're both different I'll give you a moment to um, look at those I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say I'll give you a moment to focus on the cards because I'm so used to doing that in my readings <laughs> that's so funny we well, can focus on them as much as you like <laughs> so let's get started so guys we've got the divine oracle which is the first oracle deck that I uh, one of the first I had created, actually, and this has got 78 cards in the deck. There might be some that are reversed in here, but that's okay. I just loved the beautiful purple on the back of them, um, and, yeah, I just find it beautiful. So there's a lot of decks in here, I mean, a lot of cards, I should say, um, that have all different messages on them, and I'll go through some of them. We've got the throat chakra, so we have chakras in there as well, and we've also got star signs in here got um, Courage, New Chapters, Sacral Chakra, Trust, uh, Beauty and Attraction. So there's no booklets with these cards. Um, none of my cards have the booklets with them. Um, they're just for you to be able to tune into intuitively, um, but a lot of them have messages anyway, anyway on them. Um, we've got Your Patience and Faith is Being Rewarded, Call Upon Your Spirit Guide, Angels by Your Side, Pay Attention to the Signs. Face Your Fears, um, Nostalgia, Spiritual Growth. We've got the star sign here, guys. Leo just gives you a little few words, um, key words as well. Playful, courageous, energetic. It will all be okay. Purify your energy. Surrender to the lessons. Heart Chakra. We've got the Taurus, Grounded, Determined, Loyal. Um, we've got the miracles are now being manifested, divinely connected, the root chakra, it's time to ground your energy. So each chakra basically has a little saying on it as well. Um, so you can see the third eye chakra says, use your intuition to see the truth. We've got patience, stay focused, study. They're all in a gloss format also, which I felt um, was much better for the um, cards to last long, a long time. Bold, impulsive, motivated for Aries, higher calling. Visualize your dreams into reality. Make a wish. 
crown chakra connect with your higher self and trust in its divine wisdom we've got see past the illusion as we know a lot of us know the moon is all about confusion or the hidden realm it can be illusion um, pisces intuitive dreamer compassionate we've got this situation involves current or future children we got libra uh, partnerships fairness balance we've got golden opportunity or golden abundance i should say <laughs> we've got um someone you love is thinking of you right now i love this card and then we've got serenity in nature spiritual awakening speak your truth you are almost there gemini innovative quick-witted socialite let go with grace destined love guiding light improving health um embrace your inner child we've got your dreams hold sacred messages. Capricorn, practical, disciplined, responsible. Choose another path. Um, peace and forgiveness with the peace lily. A blessing is coming into your life. So cute. Tap into your creative spirit. Uh, your power animal is with you. And meditate on it. Scorpio is intense, sexual, mysterious. And Sagittarius is optimistic, philosophical, adventurous. Uh, you're not alone. Cancer, nurturing, home and family, resilient. Question loyalty. And we've got Virgo, humanitarian, analytical, faithful. Find peace in solitude. Confront. Wait and observe. And yes, this is your soulmate or twin flame. We've got, um, oops, harmonious outcome with the little swans down below. We've got all is not lost. And... You have the stamina to push through this, time to walk away, returning love, Aquarius, free-spirited, humanitarian, rebellious, safe and protected, and heal your pain. So that is the 78 cards of the Divine Oracle. They're gloss finish and they, they shuffle really nicely as well. Um, and so I think there was a card in there. I've got to find it now because I do know it's in here called Divinely Connected. Um... And I created it specifically, like it's a bit of a wild card basically. So basically what it means is that the significant cards are on each side of it. I'll let you know when I find it. I don't remember coming across it, so I have. I hope I haven't lost it somewhere. There it is, guys. Divinely connected. The cards before and after this one hold great significance when put together. So even though we can read things in like a storyline anyway when cards are put together, this just shows that there's real significance in this. So just say, for instance, I was going to... See, we've got um, two cards here. So we could say, okay, heal your pain safe and protected so we could see that um you really have to go uh, you you really have to heal your pain through um in a safe place and feel protected it's got to be somewhere or through someone that you feel very safe and protected with and that's how you're going to heal your pain um this could be a major theme on that day for you or to do with the question you might be asking about so it's just really interesting how different cards can come up like that guys it's just really fun so that is the divine oracle guys so let me know what you think if you would like to order it um, there will be a link below in the description box thanks for watching hi guys so this is the divine love oracle which is the second de uh, deck that i created pretty much alongside the divine oracle so we got the divine oracle and the divine love oracle this has 54 cards in it and can be used um, for in love messages, uh, love readings basically to give love messages. Each card has its own special picture and message on there. Um, but you know, there's no booklets with these cards um, because most of them are pretty self explanatory anyway. Um, and you can use your own intuition as well, guys. They are gloss finish, which is just beautiful, which means that they can last a long time. Um, and they're beautiful to shuffle as well. So let's have a look, guys. So we've got, some will be reversed. Not, not this time. The door's closed. Uh, playfulness. We've got optimism, summer. So we've got seasons in this deck. So you could be talking about a specific season or it could be the energy around that time as well. Like summer is all about optimism and happiness and fun in the sun type thing. We've got patience. We've got within one year, so we have time cards in here as well. We've got communication and blue for the throat chakra. 
We've got contract, spiritual or legal. I miss you. How cute is that? And then we've got within three years. And special message, you are always in my heart. Stand your ground. And we've got spring blossom. And we've got, what have we got? Happy outcome with the rainbow. Dream home. Denial. True love. Commitment. Rebuild. Spiritually connected. Social butterfly. Falling in love. Regret but hope remains. So this reminds me of the five of cups in the tarot, if you're, if you're familiar with that. It's all about um, feeling really sad, having regret, um, and just feeling like, as we can see the piano keys here, it's kind of like old and worn. It's like something has died, you know, it's dying or it's died. Um, but the yellow rose represents hope once again and to be able to look to the, um, to the light in the situation. So we got farewell. Um, now this one I normally talk about it could be a peaceful farewell, seeing as there's a peace dove here as well. But you can interpret it however you like. Sad Divine Masculine. We've got Reconciliation. Uh, time Out. Forgiveness. Past Life Connection. Dreams Coming True. Winter Recovery. And we've got Pure Contentment. Their flame burns for you. We got a yes card. So you can see the dandelion. Um, it's like a wish coming true. And um, this can represent the no card. You know, there's a yes and no card. So we've got the soulmate. Release blame. Wait. Now we can see the lightning here. I always say this card is waiting out the storm. Could be an emotional storm. You know, an emotional storm. Uh, burning passion within eight weeks reach out have faith angels are protecting this connection autumn release news on the way so the birds often represent um, communication which you could see with this other card I think I had here yeah the bird here the kingfisher um, the birds represent communication so messengers and we've got celebration clinking glasses together miracle healing as the the butterfly uh, is transformation and we've got the beautiful rainbow colors as well so it's like the the healing after the storm and within six months we've got distance sad divine feminine sincerity thinking of you I love you and sacred sexuality surge of love and take back your power so that is the divine love oracle and if you'd like to order that below guys there's a link below in the description box they're just gorgeous cards there's 54 cards in the deck but on the website it tells you everything about them anyway so I hope you enjoyed that and if you'd like to look at the other ones I'm about to do those now Hi guys, this is the Divine Radiant Self Oracle and I created, I had so much fun creating these and it usually, these, I was inspired to create these after I did the Divine Shadow Self Oracle which I'll get into in a moment but they're basically, I will bring them together, they're basically um, opposites of each other. So you have a higher self, a lighter side of yourselves and the shadow self as well. So. Um, similar to my divine yin yang oracle messages of shadow and light this is actually messages from your person this would actually describe what is going on within your person so what shadow or light energy are they coming in with so you could do this with your for your own reading at home um, with or without oracle or tarot cards it doesn't have to be combined but they can be combined um, and so there's 100 positive uh, words on each one of these so I can go through a lot of them. I don't have to go through all of them for, with you because it take a long time. But you can see them all on the, on the website link below. But basically what I would ask in a reading if I was to 
um, do a reading with these. What I would do is when I'm going to actually do my next reading and use these for the first time, I think, if I haven't used them already, I can't remember, uh, but I'm going to be using them. And I'll be saying, what, what positive energy is your person coming in with? What's going on with their light side? Like if it's especially a positive reading, I want to know what they're coming through with, with you. So we could say, what, what positive energy is your person coming through like with right now? What, what's the, um, main potential here what's the awesome energy I say what is the awesome energy they're coming through with you know so they're awesome to shuffle on too because I've got small hands but they're just so cool I love them so and they're gloss finish guys so they last a long time so devoted affectionate and brave so with me I like to put different oracle cards with them so or tarot cards so it tells a story but there's just so many beautiful words in here there's filled with love healed intelligent knowledgeable determined observant friendly kind detoxing doting uh, happy hardworking everything that could be a possible positive word is pretty much in here you know I've gone through the alphabet to find all the positive words that you could basically find within a person and so these are just so cool we've got magnetic and, and charismatic divine uh, sensual helpful and I just find it just amazing we've got one in here that says in love as well so if you were you know coming through with that's pretty nice message to come out in a reading um, so yeah I just find them really beautiful and they're just so nice there's not too many to hold in your palm of your hand um, being 100 I thought oh is this going to be too many but there's definitely not too many there it's really awesome I really like them so I'm going to be using them in the next reading I do and this is the divine shadow self oracle which is the shadow sides of ourselves that can often we've all we've all got a shadow and dark side as well as a light side and higher self side so these are what might be coming through if someone's undergoing a lot of pain or grief or going within a negative uh, space within themselves and so we can see denial heartbroken depression uh, victim playing a victim disconnection holding a grudge um, regret some of these are yeah vindictive blindside which is meaning that they might blindside you or they've been they have been blindsided depending on your question or the cards that you pull out ignorance um, ghosting we have this before ghosting closed off desperation anxiety and uh, deception we've got guilt we've got selfishness and this is an interesting one that came through was drowning because sometimes you can drown in your emotions as well. So they might be drowning in a situation um, right now as well. Ego bound, held hostage, secretive. Uh, there could be gossip, feeling empty. So there's just so many guys, brutality, accusations, um, coercion, manipulation, just all the words once again that are of the negative aspect through the alphabet that I've picked, you know, picked out. Um, is there so we've got rejection so this could also be not just for someone else if you wanted to do like a reading to, to look into your person um, but it could definitely be something that you could meditate on and pull a card um, to see like just say for instance you were to say okay what shadow aspect of myself do I need to focus on today what is within me that really needs addressing and you could or needs healing and you could shuffle on the cards and you could pull out a card and say okay so I have abandonment issues this is something I need to focus on and really do maybe a meditation on um, and heal from so that's something you could really look at there guys which is really cool I think that there's not always you know people freak out when they see the shadow self but we all have it within us could be addictions could be fears um, it's not necessarily something to be afraid of um, in itself um, we've got to learn to embrace it so we can heal it guys so that's what those are and I'm just I love these cards I just want to use these a lot <laughs> so once again we've got um, another one now which is the divine tarot so this is the first tarot cards that I've created I've got another one in the mail coming to me now um, these are probably really good for experienced readers um, or someone who's very in tune, you know, who can use their intuition to really tune into illustrations or the words, etc., or who may have an idea of tarot. 
Um, once again, they don't come with a booklet. I don't, none of my cards come with a booklet. So um, they're really just self-explanatory or for you to tune into. So I love this purple and black here. And once again, they're gloss finish. 78 cards in the deck. And we've got the Four of Air, which would be the Four of Swords. So these cards I created with different themes for different suits. So for the swords, I call them Air. For the Earth signs, um, Pentacles, I call them Earth. For the wands, I called it Fire. And for the, I've got to get it. Yeah, water. For the cups, I called it water. So we've got different elements here. We've got fire, earth, air, and water. Now, with the water cards, I wanted I wanted it to be ocean themed, um, oceanic, and mermaids. You know that kind of thing. I've used birds and feathers for the four of air, and I've used like um, pixies, the elven realm, the the fairy folk. You know, for the um, earth pentacles. And for the fire, I've, I've used a lot of medieval type um, cards as well, but uh, we'll see what, what else we can find here. Okay, so the King of Air, once again, he's got uh, wings, so he's like got the feathers on him there. We've got the Six of Earth, which is this beautiful pixie. She's coming out of the earth and she's giving, so it's kind of like what you give back, what you give to earth will give back to you. We've got the Six of Fire being elated and victorious, Six of Wands. Um, they're not all medieval cards in these, but there's a lot of different um, themes going on. We've got the Ten of Air. I just love this card because if you know the Ten of Swords normally represents the, an abrupt ending, it's inevitable and it's very painful and it's time to recover. And when I saw this card, I just thought I'm in love with this card because it represents peace and it's healing. Um, she's already been through the, the, the betrayal and the deception. I say he or she, but I'm saying she because she's in the cards. This person's been through deception, betrayal, and they're on their way to healing now and letting go. So it's like an acceptance going on there for that one. So it's kind of like how you read the um, pictures as well <clears throat> as the as the messages. So we've got the Ace of Fire, Spark of Inspiration. We've got the Eight of Air, which is the bird being caged in. Um, and self-illusions there, self-limiting beliefs. We've got the Hermit in the Cave. So I'm just going to go through a few of them. Nine of Air, um, which which is the bird, and also um, anxiety and things like that. We've got Two of Water. I love this card. And the Knight of Water also is gorgeous. It's Poseidon dancing with his love <laughs> under the water. So it's just different cards. Two of Fire, Temperance, Wheel of Fortune. We've got the Lovers. We've got the Three of Air, Ace of Earth which shows like a pathway and we got the five of water and I've always seen this as um, the five of cups is someone who's very upset, they're heartbroken, they're, they've got a lot of regret and grief and, and feeling lonely and feeling alone, left out in the cold basically. Um, well, that's also the five of pentacles, but anyway, uh, five of water is definitely feeling like left out and rejected um, as well as feeling like um, having to look at the opt like be optimistic look in like look for the silver lining in a situation and this person this mermaid if she only looked up and saw the sun shining through the water on the surface she'd be able to see the light that's how i see this card when i created it so it's just beautiful seven of air illusions um page of fire the magician eight of earth um judgment We've got the Chariot, and we've got King of Earth, we've got the High Priestess, we've got the Hierophant, we've got the Six of Air, and I love this card because you see his arms wide open, like he's just really uh, cannot wait, like he's open, his arms are wide open embracing his new future, and the birds are kind of leading him the way, I just love it, and the light. So we've got Justice, we've got the Devil. That's <laughs> so cool, that one. <laughs> We've got the Queen of Air, Ten of Earth, and Page of Earth, and Eight of Fire, rushing through very fast energy. And we got the Nine of Water, and the Ace of Air. We got the Death card. See, the transformation of the butterfly uh, is that birth, death, rebirth. And then we've got the Nine of Fire. 
we've got the Empress, and we've got the Three of Fire, the Tower, the Moon, the Queen of Fire, the Ten of Fire, the Five of Fire, the Knights fighting one another, competing, Seven of Fire, being guarded and protective, and the Star, we've got the Seven of Water, Ten of Water, which is a beautiful card, this one. We've got the Five of Air, and we've got the Knight of Fire, we've got Strength, We've got the Emperor, and we've got the Hanged Man, and we've got the Two of Earth, we've got the Page of Water, and we've got the Knight of, uh, the, sorry, the King of Water, King Neptune, Nine of Earth, Ace of Water, we've got the Four of Fire, Page of Air, the Three of Water, the Four of Water, and I often um, talk about in my readings how she's wearing a blindfold and doesn't want to see the opportunities available to her. Um, so emotionally stuck, uh, Queen of Earth, the Knight of Earth coming in slowly, um, the World, we've got the Two of Air, and see, I see a dream catcher on her eye, and she's closing her eyes. I just love this card so much, the feathers on her. And we've got the Queen of Water, the Six of Water, reminiscing. We've got the Seven of Earth, waiting patiently. We've got the Four of Earth, holding back, closed off. We've got the Eight of Water, abandoning a path. The Sun, the Fool. And we've got the five of earth feeling left out and rejected and sad, etc. So guys, that is the divine tarot. <laughs> that is such a cool thing. Now, I really enjoyed creating this deck. I really did. I just found it so fun to create each of those um, themes. And I just find them really easy to shuffle. They're really nice to shuffle and hold. So guys, we'll get to the next cards. So guys, this is the Divine Yin Yang Oracle for Lovers, Messages of Shadow and Light. And these are my most popular decks that are sold. There's a lot being sold. Um, also, they're very unique. I don't think I've ever seen anyone create cards like this before. Um, and also, they're gloss finished. There's 54 of them. And they're my most favorite, I think, of all the um, decks that I've created because they're just so unique and they're awesome to ask for a shadow or light message. Now, how you use these cards is to um, set an intention before you shuffle because they each have the yin-yang. We've got the light side and we've got the darker side. So it's the um, yin and the yang. We've got, I have gained courage to look within and heal. So what I would normally do is I would say, okay, I would shuffle and say, what does my person's shadow side want to tell me right now? What is, what's, what message from their shadow self have they got for me right now? And and it would come out. So then we, then when I normally do readings, you don't have to do this if you have them in front of you, but when I normally do readings, I cover this one so we can focus on this one. It says, I feel like I failed. So sometimes I will incorporate the shadow self deck or other oracles or tarot, and I'll say, what's going on with this? What's corresponding, you know, what feeling or shadow side deep within is corresponding to that. So we say evasive. So this person's being evasive with you because they feel like they failed. You could read it like that. Now we could read a higher self message, which would be, I have never felt so connected to you than I do now. Now when we're looking at a higher self, it's coming from their 5D self. So it, they might seem like they contradict themselves sometimes when you're pulling out something that's withdrawn and feeling negative to something that's feeling connected with you. So it's like in the, th in the 5D, they're feeling so connected, but in the 3D, they are uh, withdrawing because of those issues. So that is the Divine Yin Yang Oracle guys. Uh, they're gloss finish and they just shuffle so beautifully. And I love how they just flip out, you know, they'll come out. <laughs> so cool. 
So that is those. You can check out check out the divine um, the link below. What am I saying? I can't speak now. The the link below for the divine deck collection. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's get to the other ones now. Okay, so these are my divine confessions of a broken heart. Now I usually have a theme on um, this. I do a reading um, called the Divine Confessions of a Broken Heart, um, and I like to con incorporate these cards obviously in that as well. And basically, they've got little messages on them, um, basically saying something from your person, okay, from their broken heart. Uh, there's 54 cards in the deck, and they're gloss finished so that they last longer. And um, they're really beautiful to shuffle on as well. So we could say, okay, what does my person want to say to me from their bro broken heart right now? What do they really want to say to me? You know, talking about you as well. And then you could say, this person's saying, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize what I had until it was too late. And then you could pull out another one. It says, I feel sad when I look at your photos. I worry about what you're telling others about me. Now, these cards can all be incorporated pretty much together. If you were doing a shadow self, it'd be interesting. So let's see. So we've got, they're not you. So they could be with someone or you might have been worried they were with someone. They're saying they're not you. You know, you're special to them. Please don't shut me out. Can you forgive me? I have cried over you. I am heartbroken too. I'm jealous. I adore you. You make me weak at the knees. And I'm an idiot. I didn't realize what I had until it was too late. We saw that before. I feel sad when I look at your photos. We got that. I worry about what you're telling others. I can't let you go. I have been escaping into things I shouldn't. I wasn't strong enough. It was easier to walk away. I want to reject you the way that you rejected me so you can experience what it feels like to be pushed away. I can't get you out of my head and it's driving me insane. I have mixed feelings. One minute I am sad, the next I am angry. I've become so numb I don't know how to make wrongs right. Uh, you are the first person I think of when I wake up and the last person I think of before I fall asleep. I meant every loving word I said. I need to hear your voice. I often think of reaching out to you but stop myself out of fear. I wasn't ready but I am now working on myself. And when I close my eyes, I feel you with me. It feels so real. Uh, I know we share a strong spiritual bond. And I often fantasize about you in the future we could have together. I haven't really moved on from us and I'm thinking of making contact. You were meant for me and I was meant for you. I will never love again. There will never be another you. I really miss your smile and I miss holding you. Um, I fear you have forgotten me. I don't want you moving on without me. I've lost all faith. I don't think I can ever trust again. I see you everywhere I go. You're hard to get over. I can't handle the thought of you being with someone else. Sometimes at night I watch the stars and talk to you. Um, life will never be the same. How am I supposed to go on without you? I spy on your social media. If you could see my pain, you'd understand how much I do love you. Um, I never meant to hurt you and it pains me that I have. My heart was torn. Um, I want you back for good. I want to grow old with you. I just want to curl up in a corner and forget about the world. No one loves you like I do. You mean more to me than you know. I'm sorry I went MIA. It was never my intention to abandon you. Do you think of me? And I am protecting you by staying away. I miss getting lost in your eyes. Our last conversation haunts me. Um, I'm afraid of intimacy but want to be close to you. When you left, it felt like someone took a hold of my heart and tore it in two. I, real, I act like I don't care, but I really do. There's more I need to say. It was always you. I love you. I need you here with me. I wish you were by my side. And I've kept my feelings for you secret. I now want to tell you how much you mean to me. I wish I could tell you how I truly feel, but these feelings I have for you scare me. The silence is deafening me. Uh, my heart needs closure. I need to know why. I wish I could turn back time. I'd do things differently. There is so much of life I wanted to share with you. I need to know how you truly feel about me. I know we communicate telepathically, but I long for your loving touch. How can I forget you when everything reminds me of you? I play songs that remind me of you. Can we go back to the start? And I need to learn more. Can we talk? 
So those are the Divine Confessions of a Broken Heart, guys. So if you like the look of those and you'd like to order those, the link will be below. And I'll get to the next cards. So guys, this is the really cute little mini oracle deck. This is the Divine Radiant Self mini oracle affirmation deck. There's, I think, 88 cards in these ones. And I made them, I had actually originally made them for, to be like these cards for um, readings where I could incorporate a lighter side. Um, as if someone's talking from themselves as well um, coming in like your person if they wanted to say something positive about themselves they could say I am courageous or um, <laughs> where is it something that's not bloody I am curious you know things like that so um, there's so many there's 88 little messages of I am this I am that so they're all positive I am grateful I am growing um, I am charismatic, I am empowered or extroverted, I am assertive, I am enthusiastic, I am empowered, um, I am active, I am transparent. You know, these are little affirmations that you could poss possibly put into a little basket or a hat or a bowl and just shuffle around and then like kind of like pull one out. I should have probably done one. Um, I am friendly, like so it might sound... Um, you know weird to pull out something like that for yourself but I'm thinking you know for kids it could be really good for little kids if they were to like pull out something to really focus on something positive about themselves they could say I am hard working um, or I am familiar no I am familiar that's not the right one oh, sorry <laughs> the ones that that's what I meant to say actually it's that's good that's come out because um, I actually swapped the words in the one that's on my website so it's not my website it's a printer's website but still this was something I used deliberately so that I could talk from your person to say okay I'm a familiar person to you you know me so I have actually um, swapped the words around from this one to I think it's extraordinary or something extraordinary so there's something that I've done that's um, different to that one so you wouldn't be getting the same card <laughs> but there's funny that came up so I did forget about that but yeah this could definitely be for your own self to pull an affirmation to really focus on it could be that you want to buy these um, so that you could use them in a reading from your person talking to you, like coming through with this positive energy, very similar to these. It just says, I am in front of them, basically. But there are some different words in these to these ones. But you can check them out on the site, guys. Um, they are a little bit hard to sort of shuffle. That's why I suggest putting them into a little box, a little, you know, a little bowl or a basket and shuffling on them and, and picking one out. But they're so cute. They are so cute. So once again, you can use them for yourself or they'd be perfect for little kids. So let's get started with my other deck now, the Divine Love Messages from Your Twin Flame or Soulmate, guys. So this one has got 54 beautiful messages from your divine counterpart. And they're all gorgeous uh, messages that you could be asking from your twin flame or soulmate. All of these, once again, are gloss. Okay, they're all gloss um, fitted and um, the gloss print um, and they just shuffle beautifully here gloss finish is what I'm trying to say <laughs> and um, anyway they shuffle beautifully and they come out really good deep down I was committed so and I liked it because when I created it um, there's a little bit of thing but when I created there's this beautiful rose um, and on the other side I've put a smaller rose so it's just the gorgeous burgundy red color um, and I've used them over I've used them for a long time and I've been a bit rough with them but if you're not rough with them they should be fine. So it says here be patient. So if you wanted to say okay what does my person want to say to me? We'd have okay I'm sorry. You know there's different messages. Once again you can incorporate them into other cards or just as a message on their own. I want you to be happy. And what else? We'll pick another one. Where is it? There it is. I don't know how to express what I truly feel. So there's just all beautiful messages. We've got, I need space right now. I miss you. You are the one I dream of. You are the one. Let's talk. My heart aches to reconcile. We have had many lifetimes together. I blame myself. I'm thinking of you right now. We are mirroring each other. When I think of you, I smile. 
I often think of our last intimate times together. I feel sad. Our chemistry is so strong right now. Through my lessons, I've become stronger and wiser. And seeing you triggers past pain within me. I really do care. I love you. Listen to your heart over what others say. Fear held me back. Write down your feelings. So when they're saying this to you, it's probably from their higher self, um, asking you to not hold, you know, within what you're feeling. Don't hold and pent, you know, have this pent up um, energy and anger and resentments. To write them down to express what you what you need to let out of your system, basically. Um, when you hear our song, know that I am with you. Yes, your feelings are correct. So if there's a question you're asking, or if there's um, you know, you could pull out extra cards to find out what that means. If it's in your deep in your subconscious, be the best you can be. It is okay to move on. Your heart will heal. You will always be in my heart. It's not the right time. Can you feel me with you? Please forgive. Trust. Mistakes are the soul's lessons. I know we are soulmates. You are always in my thoughts. I wish you were here. Deep down I was committed. My love for you is as deep as the ocean. Let go of resentment. Open your heart. Surrender to the present feeling. I could only work with what I had at the time. Um, it's not your fault. I want to hug you right now. We've been meeting in dreams. Look inside yourself. Be kind to yourself. I'm sending you signs. Our love is protected. Now, with this one, first of all, uh, it could be that in the 5D, they're sending you messages. It could be physical signs that you see around. You know, it could be numbers, could be their name, could be um, a conversation you overhear or in your dreams. Our love is protected. You are my twin flame. And hold on to the happy memories and cherish the sad ones as they both bring great lessons. Now, I just wanted to say also, what was I going to say? Um, that in the camera, they look like a bright red, but in my hands here, they're like a beautiful, deep burgundy red. So it's a little bit of a different color. It's, it's much nicer in person. Um, so there you go, guys, there's those ones. And now we're going to get ready for the next ones. So guys, this is the divine liniment Oracle that I created and I wanted to um, do two versions. So I did one version and at first I thought I didn't like it. So I created another one. Um, and then I realized after this came in the mail, I thought I do like them, but I think I prefer version one first. So on the website, even though I don't have them here, I have actually named it version one for these ones. Okay, so they both got the same color and everything. Maybe a couple of different pictures in these because of the format that I used. Some didn't turn out okay in this format opposed to this one. So there are a couple of different pictures. Um, but I think I prefer these ones. But anyway, I'll, I'll let you see what they are. So we've got the dog and you can see all the writing down below here. So I've got follower, loyal, trust, friend, support the mountain um, obstacles, long-standing challenges, etc. Um, we've got the key. Now that's the different picture in this one. The keys are different, so it's about unlocking. And I wanted to do these to have key words. I know that people just use the illustrations usually and already know the meaning, but I thought, well, some people don't know the meanings. And it's, it's really quick, you know, good to just quickly use it. So we've got letter. So letters are about uh, conversations, private message, certificates, text, email, etc. We've got the birds, social media, phone, small, fast communication, gossip, etc. The stork, which is change, pregnancy, migration, babies. We've got the sun, all that positivity, charisma, success, warmth, etc. We've got the ring, marriage, contract, cycles, commitment, promises, agreements. The house, which is security. Uh, family, you know, it's safety, it's comfort, etc. We've got the scythes, so it's all about fast endings, um, fast harvest, surgery, the unexpected warnings, accidents, something that's quickly cut out of your life. We've got female querent, um, so if you're asking about yourself, this could be you. We've got the anchor, which is settling down, hard work, being stuck, stability, consistent. We've got the male, which could be a male 
uh, querent or someone you're asking about got the pathways so this way or that way solutions opportunities walking decisions we've got the cross which is uh, like a cross to like a, a crosses and burdens to wear so belief suffering karma fate spirituality we've got the child which is youthful and innocent and fresh beginning small things we've got the the clouds which is confusion complications difficulty We've got the tree, which is growth, forest, family, health, ancestors, strength, healing, nature. We've got the tower, which is organizations, independence. We've got the snake here, which is manipulation, secrets, false friends, lies and seduction. The coffin, which is about laying something to rest, slow endings, ghosts of the past, letting go, illness, etc. We've got the lily here, which is retirement, can be sexuality, it's purity and intimacy, uh, peace. We've got the bouquet, which is invitations and appreciations. You might get a gift. It's happiness. We've got uh, the book, which is all about um, expert advice or knowledge, um, secrets, the unknown, education. We've got the fish, which is money, business, sales, alcohol, independence, investments. We've got the garden, which is meetings, networking, um, gatherings, party, public event. We've got the star, which is wishes, fame, inspiration, hopes and dreams, optimism, the arts, etc. We've got the heart, which is relationships, partnership, warmth, happiness, passion. So that's the different ones. I just realized, um, yeah, the key and the side are different as well. And the heart. So you'll see that in a minute. Uh, we've got the moon here. I just love that one as well. And we've got the clover, which is good luck. Expect the unexpected. Take a chance. Uh, the moon, I think I read that out. Fame, romance, cycles, reputation, the arts. Uh, we've got the the broom, which is arguments, strife, conflict, separation, heavy arguments, basically. And we've got the ship, which is uh, overseas trade or international um, connections. We've got overseas movement, right, wrong, travel. We've got the rider who comes in, um, who's the messenger. Help is on the way. There's news coming. We've got the bear, which is all about strength and power and, and authority, protection, and the little robber mouse, I call him, is about loss and theft, anxiety, ill health, deterioration, something eating away at you. And we've got the fox, which is the competitor around you, or creativity, job, fraud, trickery, etc. So they're really cool cards. Um, there's different ones, as I said before. So that's the ones with the words all around them. That's what I call version one on my website, or on the printer's website. So we've got all the words around them. I love these ones. And then you've got these ones, which have like a border... And these are not bad either. I like these too, but for some reason I connect better with these ones. You might decide which ones, you know, you might look at them and think, oh, I like these better. This format suits me better. She's black and white in this one. And um, that's the difference there. And so you can see that each one has their own little uh, keywords down below. Yeah. So the same, same exact meanings pretty much on the other cards, just a couple of different pictures. So, what have we got? Yeah, the coffin's different in this one. And the anchor. And the ring. I just realised there's quite a few <laughs> quite a few different ones here. Um, but yeah, you can see on the site anyway, if you want to check it out, the link is below. You can just suss out which one you might like um, better regarding its format. They're both the same um, price on there as well. So let's have a look now, guys. We're going to have a look at the Divine Affirmations for Kids. So let's have a look. So we've got um, 54 cards in this one. I was going to say the Divine Liniment Oracle before has 30... Oh, how many cards has it got? 36, I think. Oh, I've got to remember now. <laughs> oh, my God. I can't believe I can't remember. Um, I'm pretty sure it's 36. Yeah, there's 36 cards. What am I saying? Yeah, so there's 36 cards in those. Now, there's 54 cards in these ones. They're gloss finished. None of these cards come with a booklet because they're pretty much self-explanatory, especially the Divine Affirmations for Kids. Now, on these, there are beautiful illustrations um, that I found with beautiful little um, messages as well for them. So there's two blank cards so that they can create their own. So they might want to glue, glue something on there or draw or, you know, paste, as I said, glue something on there or draw or paint. Uh, or put stickers on it, whatever they want to do. There's two blank ones there. And so what each one is, and I was inspired to create these because of my own boy, my own son. 
Um, and so I feel like it's really good to brighten up a child's life, especially if they're having self-esteem issues. Uh, it can help them be confident, can inspire some positivity in their daily life. They can just shuffle on them. Um, if they want to, they can shuffle them around. Um, being little hands too, you know, it's like they can just shuffle them or they can put them on the floor and pick one. Um, they can shuffle and pick one from the top, you know, name three things, three things you love about yourself. Um, or they can, uh, what's the other thing I had? Yeah, they can just draw one out of the pile anywhere that they want to. Today is going to be, no, t why am I saying that? Today is a new day and I will focus on being positive. So these, I just loved creating these ones as well. I just, I had so much fun and um, I'll show you what they are. So today I will try and be patient because I know God has a plan. My prayers are being answered. I have faith. My family love me so much. I am cool just being me. Tonight I will look up to the night sky and look for a shooting star. Let go no, today I will let go of all my worries and choose peace. Today I will look in the mirror and say three encouraging things to myself. Today I will see the beauty in everything around me. Today I will enter the magical world of an interesting book. I have a great sense of humour. Today I will make someone laugh. Good luck follows me everywhere. And I am extremely creative. Today I will make something special. Sometimes I feel sad. It is okay to share my feelings by talking, drawing or writing them down. I am safe and protected at all times. I am extraordinary and or extraordinary and my life is meant for great things. Today I will take it easy. Today I will give away something I don't need. I love food. This week I will eat healthier. I have peace in my heart. I am kind. Today I will help someone feel better. If I believe it, I can achieve it. I am super active. I will get my body moving today. Today, I will choose a fun outdoor activity. Whenever I feel worried, I know I can reach out to my loved ones for support. I am confident in my abilities. I've got this. Today, I will listen to my favorite song. Pray before going to sleep. God will listen to your troubles, dreams and wishes. My imagination is strong. If I could be anything right now, what would I be? My pets in heaven are with me each step of the way. And I am a caring person. Today I will compliment someone and cheer them up. Today I will write down three things I am <clears throat> grateful for. Name three things you love about yourself. Write down one new thing you can do this month. My mistakes help me learn and grow. Name three things you really are good at. Today I will look for special feathers. Relaxing music helps calm my body, mind and soul. Today I will have the courage to try something new. Today I will try my best. I love learning new things. Today I will do some research. Today I will remember to drink plenty of water. I love nature. Today I will go outside and explore. I am super talented. If I feel stressed, all I need to do is pause and take three deep breaths. I love money and money loves me. Today I will do something to earn rewards. Today I will make a wish. I know I am special. I am God's perfect creation. When I go to sleep tonight, I will think happy thoughts. Tonight as I go to sleep, I will calm my mind by closing my eyes and imagine I'm floating on water. I have the power to make my dreams come true. I am great at art. Creating something of my own makes me happy. Today is a new day and I will focus on being positive. So that is it, guys. This is the Divine Affirmation Deck. Please check out the link below if you'd like to order. Mm -hmm.